In this question, we need to be able to look at some pseudocode, understand the algorithm that it represents, um, and answer the questions related to it. So let's start um, from 7a. It says the function compare returns an integer value. So we've got a function here, its name is compare, and it says it returns an integer value. An integer is a whole number, for example, 1, 3, 4, 7, 2, 9, all of those. Um, so we were asked to explain why the return value couldn't have been Boolean. So return value is what the function generates. So our function is called compare. It's got two parameters, x and y, and it returns a number, either 1 or minus 1 or 0. So there's three possible combinations of what this function returns, um, which means it cannot be Boolean because Boolean is either true or false or 1 or 0. It can't be three possibilities. So that's your one mark here. It can't be Boolean because there are three possible return values. Then we're asked um, to work out what the return value would be if we ran compare with the arguments 4 and 4. So, in this case, x would be 4 and y would also be 4. So we're checking, is x bigger than y? Well, no, it's not because they're both the same, so we go to else. If x is less than y, well, no, it's not, they're both the same, else return 0. So compare 4, 4, we're going to have a 0 because they're both the same. Then we're doing compare 1 and minus 1. So x is 1, y is minus 1. Let's write that down so we don't forget x equals 1, y equals minus 1. So is x bigger than y? Yes, it is. 1 is bigger than minus 1. So we're going to return a 1 here. And then this one's a little bit devious. We're, compare, we're calling the function three times. So um, we need to look inside the brackets first. It's like in maths, the order of operations, bid mass, um, where you work out the brackets before anything else. So let's work out compare 4, 4, which is where they're both the same. Well, we've done that already. 4, 4 is 0. 1 and minus 1, well, we've done that already. That's 1. And then we need to compare 0 and 1. So here, x is 0 and y equals 1. So we've got our x here, our y is here. So we're working out the algorithm with x is 0 and y is 1. So is x bigger than y? Um, is 1 bigger than 1? Sorry, is 0 bigger than 1? No, it's not. And then we say, is x less than y? Yes, 0 is less than 1. So if we're comparing 0 and 1, our answer would be minus 1.